Yeah, one of my investments, real estate investments, um, buying this area to use as a rental for someone, probably a vacation rental is close to the highway. Hey, hey, if you like chicken, there's your rooster. Look like the chickens running around. Yeah, let me see. Let's do the place. Send my address. I think uh Seven hundred a month. Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Need some work on it. Yeah, definitely need some work on it. The neighbor's changing. I mean, the house next to it is abandoned. It's abandoned. It's been abandoned for some years now, even even before the hurricane. Yeah, this is a bad oh, good grief. I wouldn't walk in here with the with the A team. That's a spacious. I was thinking about buying this piece of silk, knocking it down and attaching it to the other piece, making it bigger. I'm making it a two level because you get ample sunshine. There's actually no, how you say it, there's no trees. There's an abandoned car here. Good grief. Something's dead in there that has to get moved. If they call the municipal, they move that. This is over here. Looks like could have been garbage left over for since the day of the Big Bang. I'm surprised this pole is still standing after the hurricane. <clears throat> That's, yeah. Not a bad deal for seventy-five thousand dollars, huh? Not a bad deal. I mean. If I was going to live here, I would put solar paddles on the roof. And since this is Mayaguez, it rains every day. Put a water harvesting system here. And that little thing, thing you put your 100 pound propane tanks for uh, your stove. The sun hits, there's no shade at all, so the sun hits from all locations. Be good. And most of the people here are elderly. Are elderly. So, so like I said, the highway is not too far from here. That's the number two highway I'm looking at right now. Randy got her car, she's backing up. That's highway number two. That can take you all the way to San Juan, or it can take you to, um, it can take you to um, Ponce, out of Cibo. It can take you, you know, quite a few places. And, uh, uh, yeah, of course, the 
The person here, I think he has a solar panel also. The neighbor. Yeah, that's the way to go. Solar. And uh, you, know, you get the breeze because you're not too far from the ocean. Uh, well, not the ocean. The, Carib the, Carib yeah, the Caribbean Sea. Not too far from the Caribbean Sea. So, you know, you, you, you get good breeze. You know, you get very good breeze. Let's see what happens. You know, got to get a crew. It's hard to find a crew to do some modifications you know, because of the pandemic. You know? And uh, down here, the minimum wage sucks. It really sucks. It's the minimum wage here is, um, I think, about eight dollars an hour. It sucks, you know. I get a crew and pay them good money. Get them as long as they uh, a time frame to finish doing some work on this. I have to change those windows, and uh, I really don't like this door. I have to put an out swinging bar, like bars on it, a uh, screen door there, yeah. and I have to put something to protect the, the gas tanks, and this is right by the bathroom too, the gas tanks, I might have to, 100 pound tanks I think are bigger than this here space here, so I'll probably have to knock this off, and uh, make it higher, maybe just a little bit before high as the window, right here. This is the bathroom window. There's only one bathroom. There's a three bedroom, one bathroom. You know. And it's strong enough. It looks strong enough to add half a floor to it. You know? Okay, I'll talk to you later.